Hey, we're at Sand Drift Resort in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin, and uh, we're going to demo a new product out called the Law. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was backwards in my camera there. The screens just flip like a mirror. Anyways, the Law is a boltless, take that back, uh, drillless license plate bracket for the Tesla Model S, and I believe they have them for other model cars as well. Just a different design. Uh, don't take my word for that. Check out their website, uh, torcliffcentral.com. So anyways, we're going to see exactly how well this goes on and uh, if it really is drillless. Alright, so there are three main pieces to the lock. And the bracket that goes in through the grill, uh, the other bracket that clamps it to the grill, and then the actual license plate holder that bolts onto the mounting bracket. So uh, please refer to your instruction manual for the correct placement for the holes. But uh, it's, installation is pretty straightforward, and once you do it the first time, uh, it should take you no more than uh, one to two minutes to install or uninstall. So, first, insert through the specified hole uh, slots on the grill. has the special little nuts back there. Then you got your flat piece, flat bracket. And uh, you got the two longer bolts. Uh, they have a standard washer and a lock washer. So you insert through the bracket, line it up. And apparently my aim is off today. Okay, got one started. Do the other side. Mr. Butterfingers. Now that that is in, uh, you will need a either a 17, 7 16 socket or a 7 16 uh, open end or box wrench. Uh, since I can't remember the last time I used a SAE socket or wrench, um, I don't carry my wrenches with me, the, just the metric. Uh, but uh, I do keep the uh, sockets on hand as there's nice slots for those in my toolbox. The car's cooling just kicked in. It's like 90 degrees out with 97% humidity. And I'm charging at 80 amps right now at the Sandrick Resort in the beautiful Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. Reverse that. I'm charging at the beautiful Sand Drift Resort in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. There we go. Never said the Dells was beautiful. Tighten that down nice and snug. Don't over tighten it or you can damage your grill. So, next step uh, we have the actual license plate holding bracket that goes just like that but it will be easier I'll have to switch to my smaller socket for that one uh, according to torque lift you put your license plate on first 
Uh, now, since I have absolutely no clue where my license plate is, uh, as I have never, ever, ever, ever used the front license plate, um, I have this handy dandy piece of cardboard. So we'll use this handy dandy piece of cardboard as a temporary license plate. So, let's so have the bracket at the right angle. Get your uh, license plate mounting bolts, which is, uh, now you should have four of these little bolts left. They're all the short ones, so doesn't really matter where you put them. And I think the reason they want the, the uh, plate on first is so that way as you're tightening it, you don't apply too much stress to the, uh, the grill. I think Tesla should start offering these brackets as an option compared to their current drill ones that they require. And that's it. Now I'm going to move the camera just a wee bit here. Now, this bracket, the license plate holder, goes on top of the mounting bracket. The bolt goes from the bottom up. So it might be a little easier for the first one. Put the bolt in the bracket first, then put the license plate holder around it, so that way you can get her started. Tightening that one down. Other side in there. hand tighten first. Uh, looks like you will be needing that open end wrench. The wrench doesn't quite fit right there. Have no fear, I suppose I could use a number. For those of you that do have pretty much metric only toolboxes, a number 11 will work just fine. There we go. Done. Not too shabby. And I have no idea why my camera does not like to focus anymore. Probably took a few too many dumps by Mr. Vinny. That's my uh, oldest boy. And 
not too bad. I like it. I like it a lot. Would like it even better if I had my actual plate on there. So, I hope this uh, little review and uh, tutorial, installation tutorial was helpful. Uh, and if you thought so too, please subscribe. Channel K-Man Auto. And uh, if you have a Model S and are hesitating putting screws in your front bumper, please go to torqueliftcentral.com and uh, check out the law. Uh, under the Tesla hitch and accessories section. Uh, I'd have to say this is a pretty pretty good idea. It seems to go on perfect. It's uh, fairly sturdy. One thing I'm wondering is uh, given that you're blocking some of those grills if it might actually increase your aerodynamics a little bit and give you some better range. Wink wink. Uh, to somebody who might have access to a wind tunnel. And looks like this gentleman from Illinois could definitely use one. <laughs>